And new at six, a young Miami Dolphins fan got to spend the day with his favorite team thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. CBS 4's Vanessa Borge introduces you to the 17-year-old tackling a disease with the help of some familiar faces on the football field. Hey, what's up? Ah, how are you? How you doing, baby? Good. Good? Yeah. Thanks for coming out. A hug and hello from Jarvis Landry. What's going on, Trevor? How are you? How you doing? You doing all right? Yeah. You got some fun out there? Yeah. Chatting with Cameron Wake on the Dolphins practice field, getting a peek inside the players' locker room. It's a series of memories 17-year-old Trevor Thomas will never forget. Got to tour of the uh, locker room, got to see the weight room, the other facilities. Super Bowl trophies right here, so it was just great. Trevor's journey to Miami began when he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, a disease that affects the lungs and digestive system. The Make-A-Wish Foundation and the NFL makes it possible for Trevor to visit Miami from New Jersey every year to check out his favorite team. I became a Dolphins fan because my dad and just carried through the family, still is. It's a, it's a great time. I mean, I come here every year just hoping that this year will be the year we make it to the Super Bowl. It wasn't the Dolphins playing, but Trevor did make it to the Super Bowl. The Make-A-Wish Foundation granted Trevor's ultimate dream in February. He was among thousands of people inside Levi's Stadium during last year's Super Bowl in California. This past week, Trevor once again got to hang out with his favorite player. Thank you, guys. Jarvis Landry. Just an awesome experience. He's a great guy. Nice, just, they're just a uh, great person to talk to. That smile says it all. Trevor, along with 13 other NFL fans, went to the Super Bowl in February because of Make-A-Wish Foundation. And the foundation has sent at least one child to the game every year since 1982. Now let's hope one day Trevor will get to go to a Dolphins Super Bowl game. Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News.